Hey, hello everyone. This is Celine and that's my dog. She's the younger one. We call her Snow. She's a great Pyrenees. And she is out of frame. Okay. <laughs> so this is Celine and um, I am the maker, creator, whatever. At uh, It's Simple Artisans. So, and what you saw earlier was my um, do younger dog. She's a great Pyrenees. Yeah, so in my earlier one of the videos, I'd shown you my elder one, and that's the younger one. So my two fur babies. Um, okay, now let's get to the topic, okay? So today I am going to be making um, a carrot ginger soap. Uh, now in my earlier video, I showed you all how I make uh, my carrot oil. Uh, now in that one when i was making the carrot oil i had a grated carrot which i had removed the juice and i was using just the grated carrot and the juice i had kept aside for this soap okay so i'll show you all how i make it make the soap uh, and the lye solution i'll tell you all what i did for the lye solution so let's go into the making so i've prepped up everything that is needed uh, these are my oils and butters. What I have in here is uh, 100 grams of castor oil, 200 grams of coconut oil, uh, 200 grams of coconut butter, uh, 250 grams of olive oil and 250 grams of palm oil. So it's a total weight of 1000 grams. Uh, in this, I have added uh, a tablespoon of carrot powder and a teaspoon of dried ginger powder okay so that's what's happening in here now this is my uh, live water solution okay so uh, what in as per my recipe I need 300 grams of liquid for the lye solution so what I did was I obviously extracted the juice from the carrot and the ginger I had uh, 80 grams of carrot juice 20 grams of ginger juice that's a total of 100 grams now the remaining uh, 200 grams from 300 200 grams of water is what i took first i added uh, half a, a tablespoon of sugar half a teaspoon of salt i added 10 grams of citric acid and uh, i mixed everything then to that i added my lye which was uh, 142 grams of lye. Uh, when you all are doing your uh, soaps, if you are following the recipe, but please put your recipe through a soap can so you know exactly. Now for me, what I needed was 136 grams of lye, but since I added 10 grams of citric acid, uh, which would neutralize uh, 6 grams of lye, I added extra 6 grams of lye to this, okay, so that's a 142 grams of lye. And then once I dissolved the lye in the water, uh, I had already frozen my carrot juice and my ginger juice. So that was frozen. So once I dissolved the lye in uh, my water, I poured that solution over my frozen carrot and ginger juice and then I mixed it and then everything melted and this is what is the result of that okay so now this is at room temperature okay let's keep that aside in this what i have is my fragrance oil and one tablespoon of kaolin clay so everything prepped that's the oils and butters all melted and now at room temperature I mixed the carrot powder and the ginger powder when the oils were hot uh, so that you know it could absorb better it could release whatever it had to uh, so that's that over here so now let's start okay let's first get this mixed up properly okay
this is mixed well now let's get ready to add the lime give me one minute let me uh, put on my gloves and we'll go on with the lime I'm not sure if this will uh, maintain the color when it is the pornified. As of now, it's giving me a nice, cute orange color, but I'm not too sure. Kaolin clay and my fragrance soil. When you need not add fragrance oil, you can keep it unscented if you want. You can, I mean. You know, so it will be your soap when you make it, so you can do it the way you want to. This is reached light trace, so okay, we'll stop here and pour. <coughs> I'm going to try to. Uh, make a video on uh, how I make my natural shampoo and I've been trying some uh, rice face uh, pack mask whatever you want to call it and uh, rice hair mask pack so i'll show you all how i do that also if it works on me as of now i feel it's uh, looking pretty good so
No, so 99% probably my alcohol just to avoid so much. So I'll get you back when we're ready for the cut. I'm not giving it a texture on the top or anything. I like it like this. I'm going to have it like a nice bar. So i get you back when we're ready for the cut. Okay guys, so we're back for the cut of the carrot uh, ginger soap. The cut and the lather test. So that's what it is. It's the fragrance is nice. still slightly soft and sticky so let me get you back when I'm done with cutting all of this so we cut all the bars let's bevel the sides I'll finish all of these and we'll get you back when I'm ready for the lather test, okay? So we actually, uh, I mean, uh, managed to achieve a nice uh, bright yellow color. It's not orange. So let's do the lather test. And just to let you know this lather test is being done within 24 hours uh, so it's just been like 24 hours since the soap was made so it's going to uh, lather way more when it cures but yes that's the lather for now and we will there will be way more lather than this once it is uh, completely cured and you know so technically I'm supposed to wear gloves to do this but okay I'm just doing it because I'm too lazy to so that's about it guys for this video uh, if you like please do hit the like button and uh, subscribe for all those who haven't and see you soon in the next one i am planning on making some more uh, soaps with uh, uh, fresh ingredients so i think the next one on my list is uh, a cucumber lime uh, soap so let's see what comes up. 
then I was thinking of a mango. Uh, so I'll let you all know. Uh, most probably it will be the cucumber line. So see you all soon in the next one. Bye.